sheep. We don't look entirely at God. In some way or another, we put our trust in human beings. But you're still born again. For example, you wake aje, you want peace, you are born again, you want peace. And then instead of praying to God, Lord provide peace, your trust is on your parents. That you believe what you kazi, what you pesa, what you need to be peace. And my message today is number one, don't put your trust in men. Don't put your trust in men. You began the life of salvation with Christ Jesus. Don't turn to men. Men cannot fulfill that which Christ purpose for you at first when you got born again. Men do not change people. Men cannot change your life. Men cannot save men. And sometimes we, we, we are born again. We know the promises of God. We know that God has good plans for us, wants to achieve something with us. But you meet someone and you, you forget about what God wants to do with you and you wish. Do we still look up to God the way we looked up to him the very first time we were born again? Some of us, when the first time you got born again, you, you cried like God was there, there for you. But today, I don't know if you, you've gotten familiar with being born again, and you're trying to work out things by yourself. Abraham trusted in God. He had faith in God. It was impossible for Sarah to be to, to, to bear children. He knew that. But when God told him that I will give you a son, he trusted. He believed God. Praise Jesus. Number two. Know what God says about you. Know what God says about you and about your situation and the things you go through. Know what God says about you. Sometimes we, of course, when you're born again, I manage my shani nyororo inaitwa hani milk and honey. We also go through issues in life. Sometimes we lack money, sometimes we cry, sometimes we go through issues. But most of the time we look for solution ourselves and somewhere else because we don't even know what God says about that situation. We don't even know what God says about our, our, our us or let me let me just say us. We don't know what God says. Some of us, we we have self-esteem issues, confidence issues. Somebody anakwambia kitu about wewe. Na unashikilia yu kitu. You want to believe it, you want to walk with it. And you forget that Christ has defined you in a certain way. Somebody is telling you you are ugly. And then when I shikilia, you forget that Christ created you in his own image and likeness. You are born again, but you allow situations to find you. 
you allow men to define you. You go through issues in life and you allow those issues to define you. Sometimes you are born again and people, the way they used to call your family, the poor family, umeishikilia, unatembea nayo. And people call you Dale and you're like, oh, ni jisiki familia yeti na kwanga hivi na hivi na hivi. Know what God says about you and allow the things God says about you to define you. Because the more people call this man jealous, the more you keep doing and forever. See, there is power in the name. Buona spirit. Do you know what God says about you? Assume Abraham, alikwatua meitua, leave your native country, leave this, leave that, leave that, mungu wa kembeleka huku na kule. Na mungu wa jamonyesha vision, ya, like, why are we really doing all this? Maybe ange, maybe ange lukia vitu zingine, ama ange divert. Do anyway, there is no reason as to why we are walking this road with God. But when Christ saved you, he said, you are no longer dead. You are alive in me. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. You are a person who is blessed. You cannot be cursed because you are blessed. I will watch over your path. You, sickness is not your portion. Buona sifili. Amen. But you find a born again Christian anaita asma, asma yang. You don't even know what God says about your hair. It's important. It's important. If God says Live this way. Wachana na izi zingine. I want you to live a life that is worthy of my calling. Understand the purpose. It gives you motivation to do the things God wants you to do. It helps you in situations where instead of running up and down, looking for help from human beings who will not even help you, when as we were woo to that one, who to the one who trusts, who keeps his trust on human beings, they will disappoint you. But when you know what God says about you, when you know, you will not suffer some situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Knowing what God says about you, And then believing what God says about you. You know it. Number one was you don't put your trust in them. You know what God says about you. And then you believe what God says about you. The Bible says that the righteous shall live by what? By faith. And not by sight. Sometimes the environment does not give you confidence to believe in the word of God and in the promises of God. When God says to Abraham, I will make you great. You know, I will give you very many descendants. You know, Adi Mungu Nani, Abraham alikwama kauliza mungu now will you start at the Weziba? How will you achieve that? When I feel. Amen. Sometimes the circumstance or the environment or how things look like, they don't give you confidence in believing in the things you know God says about that situation. But you're still born again. Tulikuwa tunachukua holy communion leo. 
And maybe you are sick. And you know God says that by my stripes you are healed. You know God says that. But you wonder, how will I be healed from this sickness like sure did? Abraham was also once in your position when God is telling him, I will bless you with a child, but the one is barren. Sometimes God is telling you, I have very great plans for you, plans to prosper you and to make you great, to give you, to give you a hope and a future. And you look at yourself, you wonder, hata yu kusoma sija soma, na mimi familia yangu pali nimetoka, mambo haiezi me, and you wonder how will I prosper? If you can believe in the things you know God says about you. Praise God. Amen. Buena Sikini. Amen. Where it all began. When you're going through issues, look at the cross where it all began. It defines you. It shapes you. Don't be born again and look at other things. Don't look up to the hills. Don't look up to the mountains. Don't look up to your environment. Somebody realize that your help comes from God. Praise Jesus. Amen. Your help comes from God. Look back to the cross. When you're going through issues, don't be discouraged because of what you see. Look back to the cross. Look back to the one who defined you at first. Look back to the one who told you you will be great. Even when you're seeing yourself, people are saying you are nothing, you are small, you are weak. Remember the Bible says that I will use those ones that look as if they are small, the small things, the stupid things, the things that don't look worthy, so that no man can boast. Praise Jesus. Amen. Allow God to walk with you in salvation. Do not be foolish and turn on to the flesh and begin to walk with yourself, you will disappoint yourself before the human beings disappoint you. There is a verse that encourages me, encourages me so much. It says, those who put their trust in God, they will never be put to shame. Hallelujah. Those who put their trust in God, are you born again, but your trust is elsewhere? Are you born again, but your trust is in your job? Are you born again, but your trust is in your friends? Are you born again, but your confidence is in your own understanding? Are you born again, but your trust is in ministry? You will be ashamed. But them who are born again and they love the Lord and they follow the Lord and they delight in his ways, they trust in God, they shall never be put to shame. Even when things seem as if they're not working now and things look as if they're falling, things look as if they're not moving, look back to the cross. Those who trust upon the one who died for the sins of men, they will never be put to shame. Hallelujah. 